So today I want us to do weekly analysis on GBP and SD, and I will be doing other pairs. So we are starting with GBP and SD. Why are we starting with GBP and SD? Many people have requested. So that's, that's why I keep telling you, when you watch a video, when you watch any tutorial, any lesson in my in my YouTube, you have to comment down below and let me hear your feedback. So many people have told me, kindly analyze GBP and SD. So this is for you. All those people who asked about GBP and SD, I'm doing this for you. So um, this is lesson eight. We are going to discuss uh, how do we think uh, on GBP and SD weekly analysis. So I'm on the weekly time frame, and for some reason I'm thinking I, I'm not sure if I can call this a downtrend because it can be two things. It can be a retracement of this uptrend. So we might we have an uptrend here. Can you spot we have a high high and the high low, a high 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 low, a high 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 low, and then we have that high high. So the minute this low high low broke and instead of high low we got a lower because this area is lower than this. We what do we call this? We call this change of character. So we are seeing that the market has done what? Has changed, change of character has happened. Whenever you have change of character, two things can happen. The market can change the character, go back, retrace before it comes down, or it can continue going down. So basically on the GBP NSD, we have a change of character. And we can see, yes, we have our high, this is our high and this is our resistance, the highest point. For me, I call it, highest point so this is my highest point which is the high high like a resistance and then we have our support broke you see everyone can call it a lower low but for me i like calling it a support area we have a bos at this strong support let me show you so we have this support broken and you remember when a support is broken let me make it color red I want to zoom it for you because many people may say it has not broken. Can you see that support has been broken? The support has been broken. So you have to zoom out for you to see. Is it to zoom out or to zoom in? Whichever. So this is a support and it has broken. So support that has BOS in it. So any, you remember when I was discussing about fake out, we did the fake out on the resistance. We never did fake out on support. So in the next lesson, either lesson 10, I'll be doing fake out on the support area. So for me, anytime you find, anytime you will ever find a support being broken, the first question you should ask yourself, is this an actual break or is it a fake out? Because if you rely, oh, it has broken, it has to go down, it might be a trap. So whenever a market breaks a support like this, I'm doing it bold because here yeah, you can't see, but it has broken. The next question you should ask yourself, is it a fake out? Number one, is it a fake out? Fake out is when the market will break something and then the, the market will buy like never before. Is it a fake out or is it a continuation of the sale? So will the market continue or is it a fake out? So how would you know in this case? So here we are asking ourselves, because yes, support was broken, but this support, is it a fake out? And I remember telling you, if it is a fake out, we have to work with a pattern. So any pattern, and you see, we do not have any pattern here. Even if you stay on the weekly, there is nothing to trade here. That's why I told you, if you ever find a fake out, the next thing you want to rely on is a pattern. So I teach six patterns in my mentorship program, which I charge $400. I'll tell you all the patterns. Number one, double top. Number two, double bottom. Number three, ranging market break at, ranging channel break at resistance. Number four, pattern ranging channel break at support. Number five, pattern cap and handle. Number six, inverted cap and handle. Actually, that's what I teach in my mentorship program. So whenever I'm, uh, I'm analyzing the chart, for me, I will be looking at the, chart, do I have any of those six patterns? Do I have any pattern that I can relate to? So when I go to daily time frame, when I go to daily time frame and I still squeeze the chart, I'm thinking, okay, the chart has broke. 
the chart has broke. Do I have a double bottom? Oh, this was a support like double O. So do I have um do I have a double bottom? There is nothing. Can you see? We do not have because the area has been broken. So we do not have a double bottom. So I will also flip to four hour. What am I trying to check? I'm trying to check. Do I have a pattern on even on four hours? So we come, I squeeze the chart, I squeeze it. Is it to squeeze or to, to zoom in? I zoom. And what I'm looking for, do I have a pattern here? So I have these two areas. I'll put two lines because I don't know if it has been activated. Notice on the, and I will put it them on the blue. Notice these areas, they don't, we don't have it on the daily time frame. So we want to see, do we have it on the four hour? So those are the first two levels. And then these are the two levels. So if it happens, the price has attempted to touch either of these two areas, we have a double bottom. And having a double bottom, I told you, now you'll know how to, you will know it was a fake out on the weekly. Guys, the question is, do we have a pattern? Do we have a pattern, guys? Do you think we have a pattern here? The question is, do we have it? So let me remove this and I put the box. I remove that. Let's now put the box. Can you see the box? So I want to put it dark. The only way to trade, to know if you're trading a fake out is to trade like that. So do you have a pattern? Let's see. Can you see we have not gotten any violation? So that is everything we have. Mind you, this double bottom is not available on the daily. It's only available on the four hour, Make it, making it very strong. This double bottom is very, very strong. So we have a double bottom here. And I will even highlight it for you. Can you see that? We have a double bottom, it has activated. You can see very clear. And then I squeeze this chart and we have another one. And even if you can see how many times it attempted and these are how many times the market attempted. It was on a Monday, the market was attempting to come all the way. So we put another, call what? We put it like that. So if we were using CRB on this trade, so let me go to daily and we check if we have the double bottom on the daily. Do we have a double bottom? No. So what does it mean? The only thing that it means is that if you have a double bottom on one, one time frame, that double bottom is very, very strong. It's very, very strong. You can see the market has attempted in this area. This was, um, this candle was on, uh, this market has attempted that area. And <clears throat> apparently this is our neckline. And let me get our half and then we flip to four hour. So anyone who was getting confused, GBP and SD also have a double bottom. And you can see that is our half. So this is our half, guys. That's our half. So let's go to the four hour time frame. That's where our half is. And if you can check from the hour half, I'm not sure if we have, um, I'm not sure if we have RBS. Let's see if we have RBS. This double bottom is very, very clear. So that's where our half is, let me correct. So I don't think we have RBS, so it is not uh, a trade that you can be in for long. So we will only target up to 2,000. So you can target up to 2,000, 2 2.094. 2 that is 500 pips, that's a lot. So you can see we have a double bottom on four hour. So if you were to enter this trade, if this is what I traded uh, last week, 
I, I remember analyzing GBP and SD, and I think for some reason, uh, I got confused, even me. I didn't follow it up because they had done everything I was saying. When they break, because on, on Monday, on Friday, the market started to go up. This is where the Monday market was. We didn't have a support, a resistance. This is where CRB is. Can you see that's how the CRB was? So for me, I was even I had put even this line, but on Tuesday at around four, that's when the, the market broke out. So Tuesday, the market broke out, and this was our entry. If you were to buy, we were to buy up to here. So that's where I would have entered. Why? Because it broke our CRB. I wish I entered this trade. Imagine I I didn't follow it up. And this is the time I'm seeing it did exactly what I said. And it went with how many pips? 170 pips. Because every time you enter the market, you will be targeting that current resistance because you are not, you are uh, you're thinking this market can come to make a double top. So you can't come past that. Even there are people who, like for me, I would even target this area, you see. So <clears throat> immediately the entry was there, like we were targeting 114 pips. So that was an accurate trade so far. Have you understood how this market trend? It was a buy because of a double bottom. And even to imagine that I didn't enter this trade, it's hardening. Why? Because I had so many trades. I, like I had six pairs I was checking. And I think I got overwhelmed. I didn't check on the uh, on the GBP and SD, the end result. So the question is, we have this double top and you think that the market has broke half because that's what people are asking me. We have this double top and the market has broken the half. They are seeing this half broken. So people are like, will it go down? Will it go up? For me, I will get you back to the daily time frame. So the four hour pattern, the four hour pattern was for us to come up to here. And I think four hour it is done, as in we are done with four hour, why? Because on the daily we have a new pattern. Can you see on the daily we have a new pattern? So yes, four hour did all that, but I want to show you the new pattern on the daily. So if you missed that trade, there's nothing you can do. So on the daily, we have a new pattern that is double, board, the double top. So on the daily, I have this double top. Can you see that? And mind you, this double top that is on the daily, it's not the same double top that is on four hour. So the double top on four hour is for you to be blinded because if you focus on the double top on four hour, you see, this is what we have on the daily, something totally different. So we can't focus on the four hour double top and, either, and yet daily has a double top. So we will focus on this, for daily double top and now tell me if it has broken half you you are so confident those people are asking me how will it go will it break uh will it continue going down because half has been broken now i want to tell me according to daily double top according to daily double top is our half broken do you think our half is broken just ask yourself do you think our half is broken no it's not broken. So, and we know a double top can have two patterns. It can have a double top or a cup and handle. And you see, if this market gives us a cup and handle, what do you think they are, they, are, they are promoting? They are promoting the double top, the double bottom that is only on four hour that we had seen. So if this market continue to go up, what will they be promoting? They will be promoting that double bottom on four hour. So at this time, you can't sell because why would you sell? Um, why would you sell anyway? And you have a double top that has not broken half on the daily. So we are not selling. And would we buy? I would say we would buy when four hour breaks are resistance. So for me, I would look for a buy trade if this resistance is broken. If the market comes and break this resistance, for me, I will continue buying GBP NSD because all the patterns that it will be telling me, there will be patterns of going up. So I can buy up to here. This is TP1, and then I can continue buying. And remember, you have the, the double bottom that I showed you. I showed you about the this, this double bottom. And if you measure half, we want to see if we measure half. 
if we measure half of this double bottom, where will it be going? Let's see. Can you see that that's a very massive distance? That's a massive mm -hmm. distance. If it is half of the half, Yes, so at the end of the day, the market can even go beyond, but for me, that's how my analysis on GDP and is. So don't, don't be blinded. Don't be blinded with double top on the four hour. Don't be blinded with this double top. This double top is for you to be misled. The double top they will use, they will use the daily double top. We already have a double top here. So if they break, if they break half around here, understand that even on four hour, even on four hour, they can activate a new pattern. They can still activate a new pattern. So don't be blinded, don't, don't be blinded because on four hour they can come here and, and, and do a, a pattern. So for me, I'm thinking buying is more appropriate on GBP and SD than selling. And it's because on the four hour, we have the main double bottom and then the take profit is way here. So around here, and these are so many people. So look for buys, look for buys, guys, only buys. And you know, pound is strong. Again, pound is strong. So you will be looking for buy on GBP NSD. Thank you so much, guys. I hope it was helpful. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think GBP NSD is a buy or sell? For me, I'm thinking it's a buy. Unless the structure changes, for me, I will stand with a buy. Comment down below. Let me know. What do you think about GBPNSD? Buy or sell?